Hi, I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher, and this video tutorial is about my digital dictionary template in Google Slides. Back in 2016, I believe, I created my very first digital dictionary in Google Slides and have had a lot of success with it in the classroom. Many teachers have contacted me to let me know how much they're enjoying their digital dictionary, and even a few have asked if I could make an even bigger version so students can add more words. So I worked really hard last week. I did a lot of hyperlinking, a lot of slide creations, and came up with this larger version of a digital dictionary. Now, this will work on laptops, computers, Chromebooks, iPads, any device that supports Google Slides. And this one's a little different from my original version. It has a title page where students can add their own slide. Then it goes to the table of contents, just like my original version. And I have hyperlinked all of these letters to their corresponding slide. So if I type tap P, it'll take me to the P slide. And there are three different slides for each letter. There is also a home icon that will take you back to the table of contents. So let's take a deeper dive into this and I'm going to share my screen and kind of walk you around how this works. Here's an example of the digital dictionary. Students will be able to add their first name to the title slide. The second slide is the table of contents, which comes pre-hyperlinked. All of the letters of the alphabet hyperlinked to their corresponding slides. So for instance, if I click on H, you can see it links to slide 24, which is the first slide for H. The home icon will take students back to the table of contents. Now I've already added a few words to P, so let's take a look at that. Each letter comes with three slides. So this is the first slide for letter P, and up at the top corner, students can navigate to the next slide, and then the next slide, so you can see three. They can also go back, or they could choose to just use the arrow keys on their keyboard. Here, there are six spaces for words, so in all, students can add 18 vocabulary words for each letter of the alphabet. They can add in the part of speech along with the definition. They have the option to type the sentence, type a sentence using the word. Then they can reformat the font, change the text, the structure. They could italicize it, bold it, whatever you'd like for them to do. They could also insert GIFs. They could even create their own animated GIFs to pop into their digital dictionary. They could insert videos, perhaps ones that they created using the word in a sentence or ones that they found on YouTube if YouTube is available for the students. You can also add emojis or just still images to represent your words. Things could be inserted of the students pronouncing the word or using it in a sentence. You can do that by going to the insert menu. However, you would need to record an mp3 or WAV file in a different program and store that file into your Google Drive before pulling it into a slide. Students could also hyperlink words or images that are added to their digital dictionary that would take them to outside sources that fit with their word. And another option would be for students to create diagrams or pictures that represent their word in Google Drawing and save them as an, a PNG or JPEG image to then pull into their dictionary. The slides have student directions at the very bottom in the speaker notes. Once again, that home icon will take you back to the table of contents. And you can see here, there are a lot of slides that make up this slide deck, three slides for each letter. This is a lot larger than the very first digital dictionary that I created. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, I do have that original file still available.